very, very special 24 hours ahead for, 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 for Bally Doyle, for yourself. That, that's a fair way of putting it. Very special, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, Joe. Listen, obviously, uh, we're just so lucky to be in the position to have the horse to do it. And, uh, um, like, obviously, it's a big day on, very big day on Saturday. A very special horse. You, you've said it yourself about Camelot, but I remember talking to you at the start of the summer and discussing the possibility of a triple crown. It, it, you didn't say anything at the time. You couldn't. You had to work out what way the summer would pan out. But this has been in your plans for a while, has it? Yeah, obviously it's a dream for a long time, Joe. And like obviously dreams, you're always afraid to dream too hard about them because it's very hard to turn them into reality. But this has been the dream with this horse for a long, long time. And uh, obviously he had to pass the first test, which was the Guineas, which was a massive one, first time out. And then obviously to go up to another half a mile in the Derby, which was another big test. And like this is a massive test to ask him nearly to nearly go two miles. You know, after winning the Guineas, it's it's a long way. It's a big test, Joe. But uh, listen, we're just. Uh, feel very privileged to have the horse that can try and do it. When and how did you identify that he was a Triple Crown candidate? Yes, I suppose every year goes by, Joe, you always dream that one will come along. And obviously when he won his maiden, very impressive. Like uh, He was always considered very special all the way along. When he won his maiden, very specially, very easily. And then he went to Doncaster and won like a, a very high-class horse with a lot of speed uh, for a horse that, being by Montju, you would imagine that he would stay further than a mile so obviously then the dream started but then he had to get through the winter and then the spring came and then we had to decide whether he was going to start in the guineas or not and I uh, had to um, and obviously then uh, we had to decide whether he was going to run in the guineas and obviously if he got over that hurdle obviously the derby was going to be the next one so there was an awful lot of decisions all the way along and we just played it uh, by ear day by day really. But in all your years coming in here, Aidan, when, when you passed that statue of the great Nijinsky down at the gate there, did you ever think that maybe there'd be another candidate to go through your hands that, that could do the same thing again? I know, obviously. Listen, you always dream, Joe, because you have to dream. Uh, if you don't dream, they don't come true. But obviously, passing Nijinsky every morning, like we salute him there every morning. And listen, obviously, Dr O'Brien here before us, so obviously it was great history. Uh, like, obviously, uh, Sue and John would remember it very well. And... Um, then delighted that Michael and Dorian and Derek and Gay were happy to go along with it, you know. So, listen, it's it's a massive dream. Like obviously, uh, we're still dreaming at the moment, but uh, listen, tomorrow is is uh, we're going to have to come into reality. So, um, hopefully, uh, we we'll uh, do our best and give it a try. Because one thing that strikes me, Aidan, the Triple Crown or the Ledger in particular, mightn't have the the commercial appeal that it had maybe several years ago. So this is is Bally Doyle, this is Aidan O'Brien going for something that has the prestige of racing, rather than there being any kind of commercial thought behind it that it could increase the value of Camelot in any way. Yeah, no, absolutely. Listen, it's, it's the ultimate test, really, Joe. And like what you said, it is. It's a it's um, uh, a thing that hasn't been done. I suppose that a lot of horses haven't. Uh, like most horses that win the guineas, if they get a mile and a quarter, you're very happy. If they get a mile and a half, you say that's unbelievable. But now we're asking to go further even. So it's a very big call. Very, it's it's a it's a dream, and it it could be something special for everybody. And it's something that hasn't been seen in a long time, and obviously hasn't been seen because it's uh, most horses uh, don't make it that far, and the ones that make it, you, you always kind of consider it's a step too far, you know. So it's it's a massive dream, and it's something. Uh, that's uh, really something to really look forward to, and, and it'll be uh, really interesting to watch. Bookmakers make him hot odds on favourite. I think it's eight to one the field or something like that. His biggest obstacle is the distance. I think. Listen, you you, you never know that, Joe. But because like you don't know when horses step up and trip, what will happen. But obviously, that's what everyone thinks. Like he's no doubt that like unbelievably class horse. Like to win a guineas and a derby. Like it's he's uh, he's shown all the class he has. Um, but like a lot of things can happen, like we know, like no one knows what's going to happen, what's ahead of us. But uh, you hope that he relaxes and an even pace, and you hope that he just comes down the straight. But you never can be sure of anything. But uh, like it's um, it's something that we we'll, uh, can't uh, wait to see and watch. It really interest. Would it be one of your own personal highlights from your from, from all your time here and all the classic winners that have gone through your hands and all the great years that you've had? Where would it rate if this comes up? Asher Joe, this is, you can't. This this is just incredible, really. Like it, it, you can't really, for us, like you can't you can't top this. You know what I mean? But listen, like it's a big day tomorrow, and uh, like like I say, you're afraid to think about or dream about. But like if if by any chance it did happen, like it just would be something out of this world. And another line for the Hollywood scriptwriter is, of course, that Joseph O'Brien is on board. It's it's been a very special year. Yeah, absolutely. Like obviously, Joseph has been a big part of the horse all the way. He's known him from the time he started working. Um, Konami, who rides him, Andrew, Davy, everyone that's involved with him, uh, 
like a lot of people, um, uh, like he's a big team of people around him. But like obviously it would be extra special for us, and obviously extra special when Joseph's riding him. Afterward, Aidan, the the future plans, the pre lark But what about next year? That's the big question. Yeah, obviously I, I just thought uh, Derek did a, an interview in the paper, and he was very strong that he might stay in training. We haven't discussed anything, Joe, from uh, even after the ledger. Like obviously his options are like he'd have the arc and he'd have the champion stakes. He'd have all those options, but none of them have been discussed yet. And like obviously it would be an unbelievable dream for us if he was to stay in training. But like we realise how important he is and how important his genes are to the turbid industry. And but listen, it's for us, like for him to stay in training, like it would be incredible. Final question for you. Quick jump into a chopper, back over again tomorrow evening. Fame and glory. Assess him for me. Yeah, he's good for him, Joe. He's uh, he in the in the uh, the um, Gold Cup this year, the pace was slow and he just dropped in and just went to sleep. And he's at that age, if you leave him go to sleep, like he's, he takes advantage of it. So um, hopefully he's in good form for tomorrow. And if the pace is not a nice, even pace, he'll go on and make his own run and then we'll see from there. But we're very happy with him at home. He's in good shape and like looking forward to seeing him run also. Talking to yourself, Aidan, talking to a lot of the lads around, to Pat and, and the rest of the lads who are used to big days, used to big occasions, there's a real excitement that this is something special tomorrow this is something to be savoured for what Camelot could achieve ah sure absolutely Joe like this is something like if anyone has a, a chance of looking at it to watch it because if if by any chance it did come off like it it's this is so rare like to find a horse like this it's like trying to find hen's teeth really you know so to find a horse that can compete in this and to be after after um after um um like pulling off the first two legs of it like it is incredible then to go to the third but it's something that like like I probably will never see in my lifetime again anyway but listen it it's uh, like he's like for us he's a horse in, in a lifetime you know and, um, but like obviously we have to get there tomorrow and a lot of things have to work and all that so but it'll be uh, something really uh, something to save or something uh, unbelievable to watch so uh, hopefully uh, we'll give it a go